Hey everybody, it's Scott here. Welcome to Guitar Theory. In this video, we're going over the next section of Berkeley Chord Lab. Here it is. This is actually page four out of the Berkeley Chord Lab. These chords can be referenced in the Berkeley Modern Method for Guitar by William Levitt. The new chords are the ones that are outlined in the square boxes. The chords that are not outlined in the boxes were introduced in a previous video. The new chord shapes are right here. They are dominant seventh chord. I'm going to do this on D just as an example. So the dominant seventh chord, D7. D7. That is your third finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. Second fingers on the fourth string, fourth fret. First finger is going to be on the second string, third fret. Pinky is on the third string, fifth fret. In that position, that is D7. D augmented. D augmented. That is third finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. Second finger is the fourth string, fourth fret. First finger is getting the second and third string both at the third fret. Now, augmented chords are symmetrical, so any note could be the note name, but on this one, we're looking at this as a root five, so that is D augmented. D augmented seven. The last new chord on here is they're calling it augmented add nine or dominant seven sharp five. It depends on what note is going to be the note name of the chord. The chord is fingered with the third finger on the fifth string, fifth fret, the second finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, first finger is on the third string, third fret, pinky is on the second string, fifth fret. If you're looking at that from the fifth string, that is going to be D augmented add nine. If you look at it from the fourth string, that would be F sharp dominant seven sharp five. And those are our new chord shapes for this chord progression. The chord progression starts in the key of F, and then it cycles through the key of G, the key of A, and the key of B flat. Here's the first one that starts on F. So that is F at the first fret, E7 at the fifth fret, E flat 7 at the fourth fret, D7 at the third fret, D augmented at the third fret, G7 at the third fret, G augmented seventh at the fourth fret, C7 at the third fret, different shape of C7 at the first fret, back to F at the first fret. B flat 7 at the first fret. Last chord is F. Here's the one that starts on G. G at the third fret, F sharp seven at the seventh fret, F seven at the sixth fret, E seven at the fifth fret, E augmented at the fifth fret, A seven at the fifth fret, A augmented seven at the sixth fret, D seven at the fifth fret, different shape of D seven at the third fret, G at the third fret, C seven at the third fret. Back to G, E7. Here's the one that starts on A. A 
A at the 5th fret, G sharp 7 at the 9th fret, G7 at the 8th fret, F sharp 7 at the 7th fret, F sharp augmented at the 7th fret, B7 still at the 7th fret, B augmented 7 at the 8th fret, E7 at the 7th fret, E7 at the 5th fret, A at the 5th, D7, A, F7 at the 6th fret. Here's the last one. It starts on B flat. That is B flat at the 6th fret, A7 at the 10th fret, A flat 7 at the 9th fret, G7 at the 8th fret, G augmented at the 8th fret, C7 at the 8th fret, C augmented 7 at the 9th fret, F7 at the 8th fret, F7 at the 6th fret, B flat, E flat, B flat. I'm going to play the whole thing all hooked together. section of Berkeley Chord Lab. Good luck. Have fun. Thanks very much.